Hi guys, welcome back to Indoor Art. I'm Gretel. Thank you for joining me here today again. I want to do a cloud pour today using the Deco Art satin enamels. Um, I actually mix this in Naples yellow red, so it's not Naples yellow red and it's not satin enamels white. It became like a very creamy color. So that's my satin enamels and I'm going to show you the rest of my colors because these are mostly leftovers, some I did mix. I decided to just not over tink it this time and just put in some color. So let's see what happens, okay? Let me show you the colors first. There are a lot of different colors on my table. Some are mixed. This is uh, Talons Black, Talons Permanent, Blue Violet, Talons Gold. This is Pearl White. That's a mixed yellow from Talons. Talons Naples Yellow Red. Mixed with Satin and Nabbles. Let's try to get some clouds today. That is Talons Permanent Red Violet. And this is a pearlescent teal and light blue I mixed. So yeah, the colors are pretty funky. I still don't know if I'm going to use all. But let's do something fun with these colors. Let's zoom in and fill a cup, okay? The satin enamels is in the Naples yellow red, Naples yellow. And I'm actually going to put it in my cup twice. Once in the beginning, so that the center is going to like... This makes your paint like spread out a little more than all the rest. So you get like these puffy cells. And I would like some puffy cells in the center. That's why I'm going to put down... I'm going to put in some na satin enamels first, the Naples yellow. Then some colors. And I'm going to do the satin enamels one more time, okay? But there's something else I want to explain before I start. Uh, the black I'm using is a, a less pigmented black than the rest. And the reason for that is that I do want to see the black. But I don't want it to be as dominant as the other colors. If I would use the talent black, which I usually do use, the black would be there as much as all the other colors. And I want to see some black, but not as heavy and not as much. So that's why I'm using a less pigmented ivory black it is, by the way. Let's go. I'm hoping you can see what I'm doing, guys. So I'm going in there. Okay, let's stop there. That's the amount of white, well, Naples yellow white I'm putting in there. Uh, next to the Naples yellow, I want some gold. And I know gold tends to take over, so it's not like I'm doing a whole layer. Let's see. I actually want to use a lot of color. I just want to try this with a lot of colors. The question is which colors? Let's go for the Naples Yellow Red. like half of this cup mm. I'm back okay blue
Pearl white. Naples yellow, red. Gold again. So a straight pour, I'm going up, I'm going down, I'm going, I might turn, I might not. It all depends on what colors are coming out and what colors am I liking. The bottom part looks like the beach. This part looks like an egg. And you can see that the Naples yellow that's there is already like trying to expand in the cup because of the Satin enamels. You guys with me? Create something here. Maybe I can go up one more time. The satin enamel is coming out that went in first. So I'm gonna really try and at least that come out all the way. Okay. The more movement you create with the satin enamels, the more puffiness you're gonna get there. Satin enamels is doing its job. I'm hoping the center is gonna pick up and start as well. You see it's moving, it's becoming bigger. I'm loving that blue and gold there and the, the Naples yellow. Let's bring them back to the center and should I wreck it all or should I only wreck this? Yeah, I'm only wrecking parts, you guys. <laughs> Bear with me. If you don't want me to wreck, close your eyes. <laughs> I 
don't want to wreck it all the way but I do want to create like a plant a flower in the middle can see how colorful this beauty is also okay. all right hey this is so strange to hold but anyway Okay. Let's take her this side first. Still need to go two sides, but I think she's gorgeous. <laughs> I'm not used to pouring on a flat surface. I'm still thinking of spinning guys, because this is pretty hard to hold. And to tilt as well. Let's see, what are we planning now? Let's bring that that side first. I don't want to. Okay, okay. I don't want to lose those purple cells underneath. And I'm not going for the middle either. I just I want something different. Okay. Yeah, it's just so hard to hold on to this. Bring it back down so I don't lose all the purple. Magical guys. Let's find a little better composition. Sorry about that that you couldn't see you all, but it's just very hard not to drop this piece. I usually like clinch my hands in the back of the canvas. Having all the different colors. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. And you see what I mean that the black isn't that dominant as like the pink or the blue or the gold. The black is there, but it's just the lines are going to be much finer because of it's less pigmented than the other colors, okay? I think I want this a little more, more up on that side. But, uh, and she's still moving. Yeah. Doesn't have to be a lot, eh? stopping I'm gonna take you in for the close-up first okay 
because there's a lot to see you all there's so much to see there's so much to see in this one again so many different colors so many colors next to each other blending making even more gorgeous colors I'm loving that I don't have that in the center maybe I should but I'm not <laughs> see how many colors you're seeing in that ring around the puffiness loving like I have like a little plant on top there looks like a bird in the blue and the yellow my rabbit hole I actually thought of doing some of those double cup splits on top but I think this one is pretty as is you can still see where I wrecked I only wrecked two pieces two parts this side up maybe I shouldn't have gone all the way back and I wrecked this part I hope you liked my video and if you did don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button and hit that notification bell so we can see each other every week thank you for your support greetings and love from the Netherlands